Hey folks, Brigham here with Ultimate Success America. Got something for you guys and gals. Let me tell you something. In a world that's gone haywire and crazy, it's interesting that you have to have a source for information that is reliable. Proverbs talks about reliable information permits progress. Where we have an edge on the world, and I'm talking about C4s, Christian, conservative, compassionate capitalists, we have a standard it's called the Word of God. We believe divinely created that He has a plan for our lives, and it's a good plan for us to succeed. If you, the basis, believe that, then our standard for all truth is His Word. He's God. He created you and me and everything else in this world and knows everything that's going on. So nothing brings Him by surprise. But here's the deal. In a situation where you know, the world, our government is going awry. They're getting further and further away from this. I'm going to tell you something. I know how to succeed at bringing America back, bringing the church back, bringing, you know, Israel and Jerusalem back, which is at the center of everything because God's coming back for a people called by his name, a church. He's coming back to a place that's called Jerusalem, which is the capital of uh, Israel for the Jews. So watch it. I'm going to read you something about, I, I created Ultimate Success America because I want to know God's perfect and divine will, ultimate success. Because unless you stand before him and hear, well done, my good and faithful servant, you ain't got nothing. Watch this. In 2 Peter 1, 1 through 11, I'm going to read you something because how many of y'all want to know God's perfect and divine will for your life and do it? Get it done. Now, folks, that's a, that, listen to what I'm saying. How many of you would like to know for certain God's perfect and divine will for your life and do it? In America going awry and the world going crazy and the church trying to find its way, I know my way. I'm not confused. I have the word of God, and it, he says what he means and means what he says. Okay, so watch this. Simon Peter, a servant of the apostle Jesus Christ, to those who through the righteousness of our God and Savior Jesus has received faith, as precious as ours, grace and peace be to your, to your abundance through the knowledge of God and Jesus Christ our Lord. Now listen very closely. Verse 3. His divine power has given us everything we need. Whew, that's powerful. Uh, for life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. Through these, he has given us his very great and precious promises so that through them you may participate in the divine nature and escape the corruption in this world caused by evil desires. Our politicians have become, I've told you, it's not about right and left, conservative and liberal. It's about good and evil. And God's saying, if you want to stay away from evil desires, listen very closely to what he says you need to do. For to this very reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness, and to your goodness knowledge, and to your knowledge self-control, and to self-control perseverance, and perseverance godliness, and godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness love. For if you possess these qualities in increasing measure, they will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But if anyone does not have them, he is nearsighted and blinded, and has forgotten that he has been cleansed from his past sins. Folks, that's how many of y'all are sick and tired of being ineffective and unproductive and unproductive in your knowledge of Christ. The more you know about Christ, the more you know that he loves you, he wants you to succeed, he wants his world to come together, he wants his church to win. Let me finish. In, in verse 10. Therefore, my brothers, be all the more eager to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you will never fail, never fall, excuse me, fall. And you will receive a rich welcome into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now a thought, this is powerful. Many believers want more of God's kindness and peace, but they are unwilling to put forth the effort to get to know him better. <clears throat> see, see, it's just knowing him. It's all about relationship. To enjoy the privileges God offers us freely, we have to combine hard work with complete trust. In order to get to know God's will for our lives, we must faithfully obey what he has already revealed as his will in the scriptures. As we, uh, 
initialize the scriptures, internalize the scriptures, the Holy Spirit transform us into greater and greater Christ likeness. God's kindness and peace are made realities in our lives. Now, folks, it don't get no better than this. God's promises right here, amidst all the corruption going on with all the people who choose to do evil, you've got an answer from God how to know his divine nature, how to put off evil, how to attract. Those are eight characteristics, you know, faith, goodness, knowledge, self-control, perseverance, godliness, brotherly kindness, and love. That's how we get to know Christ, how we get Christ in us, and how Christ sets us up for the kind of success that breaks yokes, lifts burdens, called the anointing. Folks, I'm going to tell you something. You want power? Forget that political power. That's not what's going to do it. It's the power from on high and using it in a proper way so that God can advance you. By the way, I'm starting businesses. I'm succeeding big time in, in many ways, but I'm using that as my God. And that's my standard for truth. That's what ultimate success is all about. You can join me, but it's by choice. I'm going to serve him, the King of Kings, Lord of Lords. And I'm going to be righteous in relationships, uh, peace in the process, and joy in the journey. Join me, Ultimate Success America. Hey, go to uh, ultimatesuccessamerica.com, sign up with us, display your A. Let's make a difference. Let's take America back, lay the foundation for faith, family, free enterprise. God bless you. Have a great day. Rick Hart, signing off. Merry Christmas.